And welcome back to Clock Tower, everyone. Uh, we were just roaming the country, well, it's not the countryside, the city of Oslo, Norway. Because Helen has nothing better to do than walk around talking to random people. Um, yeah, they want us to choose where to go, so how about the library? Metropolitan Library. Many university personnel use it. Municipal Library. Ah, mouse is fucked up again. How nice is that? There we go. Hello, Helen. Mr. Sullivan. What are you doing here today? Oh, nothing really. Just thought I'd drop by. Oh, I see. I wanted to show you my collection. I've just added a new piece. Ah, uh, yes, well, maybe next time. That was quite an eventful trip to the library, if I do say so myself. Uh, we've been home. We don't have to go back to the university yet. Uh, as soon as my mouse here comes back to me. I don't understand what it is. With this emulator and the mouse. Come on! Okay, let's try this. Oh, we're finally back. Okay. That that was really uh random. Sorry about that. Uh police station. The police station. Police station. Assistant Inspector Gotts, the person in charge. Of the clock tower case is here. Oh, hey, Teach. Got some new info? No. Have you got any leads? Nope. Nothing. That old geezer of yours, he ain't coming clean. You mean Professor Barton? Yeah, that's him. He said there ain't nothing strange. About the case. Nothing straight. Yep, that sounds like Professor Barton. What about that little cutie? Whoa. <laughs> Jennifer? She's still having nightmares. Occasionally. Nah, I ain't surprised. She was almost slashed up too, wasn't she? Well, let me know if you learned something. Okay, bye. That was quite the eventful trip. However, no, we're not starting anything yet. Can I go back to the school? The university, whatever you want to call it. Okay, that's our new way to fix the mouse. We have to shut it off and then turn it back on again. God damn it. No, I'll try to go back to the university. No, not housing. Research building. Just another breath or two. Okay. The hotel. Norway International Hotel. Edward and his guardian are staying here. Well, I sounded really... Feminine when I said Edward. Damn. Not loading. There we go. They're here. Oh, Helen. How's it going? Any results from Professor Barton's therapy? No, but we can't give up hope. Sometimes something will jog one's memory. Yes. Will you be staying here long? Mr. Barton also thought it a good idea. We plan to stay here for a while. Oh, really? Well, hang in there, Edward. Yes, Miss Maxwell. I didn't realize it was this late. Well, I told you to go back like 17 times. I've got to go back to the university. You ass. Shut it off. And turn it on. That didn't fix the problem this time! No! Try it again. I swear, I'd be better off using a controller at this rate. Because this is ridiculous. Come on, look, look, we're inching closer. Ah! There we go. University Research Building. Well... I should get home and work on my dissertation. 
University Research Building. Oh, Miss Maxwell. I replaced your hard drive. And I gave him the other voice. I know what I gave him. Thanks. That's a big help. I'm going down to the lounge for a short nap. You waste all that time and then you take a nap. What are you going to do? We will all be going home soon. Oh, okay. Well, no need to lock up. Okay. His voice is more like, okay. Yeah, I remember. Scenario one, Helen Maxwell. Uh, I was pretty sure I may have fucked it up. Oh, well. Too late to fix it now. Let's just enjoy the game. If my mouse would work, on the bright side, we're in a scenario now, so we don't have to deal with this one for a while. Uh, where's my mouse? <laughs> okay. Run, Helen. Is that you, Baker? Oh, it's you, Helen. Baker's still in the lab. Oh... Someone's going to be having some, uh, shlamadama in the nap room. <laughs> no one is using them now, but at, when academic society meetings are near, it's quite a scramble to find an empty bed. I, I got to admit, I've never seen a university with a nap room. A comic book brought, by, brought in by one of the staff. Okay. This is an air conditioner, is it not? An old air conditioner that doesn't work very well. I remember when I first played this game, I looked at that air conditioner and said to myself, I've never seen an air excuse me, an air conditioner like that. The surrounding campus is lit up by the streetlights. And then like shortly after I had played this game, I actually went on vacation to a hotel and in the room that was the air conditioner. I was like oh, I know this when I saw the, the air conditioner in the hotel room. Uh Bunk beds for napping. You said you wanted a nap. There are some cosmetics on the shelf brought in by the staff. I don't know which is whose. Alright. You want to leave? The women's lounge can be locked from the inside. Oh, thank you. Hit that, uh, that light switch. Oh, yeah. Time for a nap. Bunk beds for napping. So nap. Oh my god. Really? Really? What, what have I not checked? Maybe I need to talk to her again? Rose, are you seeing Bacon again? Baker again in here? Yes, yeah, sort of. Well, no matter how late it is, remember. Don't use the university as a motel. <laughs> ah. Let me sleep a little longer until Baker comes and fucks my brains out. <laughs> I'll take a quick cat nap and then work on my report. One thing I've learned about catnaps is you don't want to take them at night. If you take one at night, you're done for the whole night. I'm telling you that right now. There's a knock at the door. Well, now, who is it? And the girl is now gone. Alright, I'm coming. Uh, it's a guy. Oh! Oh! And as I promised you all, the Scissor Man has returned. What do I do? What do I do? I can't click on anything. Was he just gonna... Oh, okay. She dies him automatically. Whew. Okay, now I have to run. Go! Go! 
The door won't open. Oh my god, run, Helen. Run into the men's bathroom. She takes too long to open doors, I swear. Go hide! Okay, now is the scary part. Now to see if he decides to kill me. See, because the thing about Scissor Man is... I think he's gone. The thing about Scissor Man is, even if you're in a hiding spot, if you don't do it quick enough... Well, he didn't come in here, but... If, if you don't do it quick enough, he'll, like, stab the hiding spot with his scissors. To, like, you know. Like, if you're... He'll stab through the door. He won't even bother opening the door. Somehow her hands are covered with blood. Okay. All right, so now instead of our um, our dissertation paper, our new goal is stay alive. <laughs> um, this way? No, come here. No, no, don't don't go in the elevator yet. We're gonna stay on this floor. There's more floor to explore. Yeah, I mean, run. Computer room. I think I remember something funny happening in this room. I think. I wonder if there's something in here that might be useful. Like. There is nothing abnormal. I'm just checking each computer individually. <laughs> there are some tools here. I wonder if it's being repaired. This might be useful. Screwdriver. Pliers. Okay. Nope. Look out the window. A plain colored curtain. It is very dirty. A personal computer is on the table. It should have access to the internet. So then, access the internet. A cheap desk. They've got budget problems here, too. Hmm. Let's take the stairs. I gotta admit, that screen transi transition is starting to get on my nerves. An emergency ladder. But it can't be used because it's locked. This certainly would be a big help in an emergency. Uh, like now? The door to the rooftop is locked and can't be opened. Well, that's right. This door is kept locked ever since someone committed suicide by jumping off the top. Oh my god. No, we're not going in that door. We're going down here. We were apparently on the third floor, so we're gonna go to the second. I don't know why I'm going in here, but... Ladies room. Oh boy. Everything seems normal. This is a man is coming. I can feel it. <laughs> yep. Rose is covered with blood. Oh my god. I gotta admit, when I first played this, being a little kid, that was pretty fucking brutal. Oh my god. I don't know where he's coming from. 
Ah. Oh, how the hell did he end up in there? This is not a place to hide. There's no place to hide in here. Go, 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 go! Oh, oh. Use this! Ah, oh, Helen! Why can't you use the fire extinguisher? Oh, God! I am so done. I am so done right now. Ah! Oh. Dead end. Scissor man has killed us. And menu lag. Oh no. No, no, the other way. Oh, I can't move the door. Oh! Now the emulator isn't like per There we go. Um run. Oh, I don't understand how every time why every time I switch scenes it lags so bad? I wish I knew. Go! Uh, go! Hide under the desk! There we go. Whew. Oh, I hope he doesn't see me. Oh, yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here, scissor man. A copier with a built-in fax machine. The power is out here, too. Damn it! The building is completely cut off from the outside. There are several stuffed animals inside. I wonder why these are here at a university. What? The fax machine rings. It received a fax? Uh. Am I stuck? What the hell? Oh, there we go. This is what I was thinking about. Get ready. I'm coming to get you. The writing is weak and unsteady. I'm coming to get you. Huh? That's... Oh, wait. I, I can't check this one. There are some dress shirts, neckties, and umbrellas. The owner is well prepared. It's locked. A flashlight. This might be useful. How? You now have flashlight. What am I gonna do with a flashlight? Hello, police department. Oh shit. There's been a murder. Come quickly, please. Please relax, ma'am. Did you see the murderer? He's the one with the giant scissors. Scissor man. <laughs> You've heard of him, haven't you? If this is a prank phone call. Wait. Ah. Oh, what an asshole. This is the same police same phone call again. Someone's been murdered. Oh, no, it's a little different. You've got to help, or he'll kill me too. <laughs> oh, it's you again. Please don't hang up. Scissor Man murdered my friend. Scissor Man. 
All right already. We'll send someone. In the meantime, lock all the doors. He's already somewhere in the building. What's your location? Southern Oslo University. Okay. So, we have alerted the police. But, you know, the police are never around when you need them. Uh, is there anything else I can check in here? Before I, uh... Oh, hey, what's this? There is something written on the table. Oh, I've discovered hit number five. Can I see it from the menu? I was pretty sure I could. I can't access the menu. Okay. Like the... The pause menu. There are many... Oh, maybe bo both clicks. That's how you do it. Okay. That's pretty ingenious. You don't see too many games use both clicks on the mouse. Ah, uh, so apparently... There's nothing doing over here. I don't know. Let's check Professor Barton's office. Oh, the Scissor Man mask is still here. <laughs> I can't check it. Oh. Danny's desk. It's really messy. Helen's desk. Oh, no. I left the, the key to the office laying here. You know how the office key. Key to what office? This one? I'm in it already. Volumes on psychoanalysis. Some of them were written by Professor Barton. Ah, okay. I can get into the therapy room with this. Okay. Uh huh. A treatment bed. Am I gonna find another hint in here? <laughs> Patient files are stored here. What the hell was the point of coming in here? Bottles of medicine. There are files on the desk. There's something written on the file. Hit number four. Okay. Can I go in the drawer? No. Okay. Well, that's what this was for. Should probably give a look at the hints eventually. Alright, time to go down to the first floor. Oh, wait, what? There's something over there. Beth's desk. It's cluttered with animals. Looks like Beth forgot these. There's a spray can of mace on her desk. This must be with t the one with the powerful, irritating smell. <laughs> well, if that's not obvious, this is obviously an, uh, an escape point. If you're being chased by Scissor Man, I, d I didn't know that was there before. I thought there was nothing to do. If you're being chased by a scissor man and you click on that, she will spray him in the face with mace. <laughs> Professor Mori K Kunas? The door won't open. Okay. Come on, Helen. Down to the first floor we go. Bathroom. I think I've had it with bathrooms, though. <laughs> A research lab currently not being used. The door is locked and won't open. There's no way to open this door. Damn it.
Aha! See now, I remember escaping through this door. This door should lead to the parking lot outside. Huh? The doorknob is wired shut. It won't open. Oh, that's right. This door isn't supposed to be used. Oh, great. But I wonder if I could do something to the wire. Pliers. <laughs> it worked. Am I out already? Ah, oh. <gasps> it's even locked too. <laughs> now I gotta find the key. If I could only find something to use as a weapon. There's nothing inside except a scrap of paper. I'm pretty sure Scissor Man is hiding behind this thing right here. A wooden box is stuffed with papers. Probably old research documents. Oh, we're coming up on 30 minutes here, so... I think it's time to call it quits. For now, let's save the game. Game in this game. I have no idea why. Prologue Barton. Wow. Overwrite. Save completed. So, um, next time. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna finish escaping from this building. Because we're trapped and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I will see you guys next time.